What's going on guys? Welcome back to NLX. My name is Jake and we are nine days out from the Switch and Breath of the Wild release. So I figured it was only right to talk about the reasons why I'm hyped for the combat in this game. And I think that combat is not something that people typically want to talk about with Zelda games. But I mean, if you look at this footage right here, it shows that this game has a higher level skill cap than some people might think. You you really are able to use all the tools at your disposal to be more lethal and to be more effective in combat. It's not just walk up to each and every camp and just spam the attack button until everybody's dead because I feel like as you go through that's not going to be enough. Like these guys right here, like if you didn't use arrows, you didn't have good arrows, like that thing, uh, the ropes, the the whole bridge to get up to that uh, platform where they're at, you wouldn't have any way to get up there. So it just goes to show you that you're going to need to use different tools for different situations. And this player obviously, you know, utilizes the ice arrows, the fire arrows, the bomb arrows, all the things that you have uh, to be more effective in combat. Like this right here, this is so sick. He hits him with an ice arrow, freezes him, switches to a fire arrow, and then blows him up. I would have switched to a bomb arrow. I think that would have been cooler, but that worked out pretty well. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the mounted combat. Like, look at that. Like, he's, like, spinning his pitchfork around and shit. It looks awesome. Uh, and the thing is, is that a lot of uh, video games, the mounted combat is kind of just something that's there and not really that good or fun. But in this game, it seems like it's going to be really important, especially with the Guardians and all the things like that. You're going to have to get good at uh, mounted combat for sure, especially archery, it seems like. Um, and it seems like if you're a good shot, you can be really effective on horseback. And the next thing I want to talk about, this is a really small thing, but the ability to just to knock enemies off ledges. Like, the fact that... You can actually hit enemies hard enough to launch them into the air is sick, but then also using that, using the environment to your advantage and knocking them off ledges uh, is really awesome too. Um, and then I, I also want to talk about the different ways that you can activate like environmental hazards. So here she's trying to illustrate that, you know, if she shoots the that rope, it'll drop that fire down onto these barrels that'll it'll explode and. Uh, it'll kill all those enemies she can't get the shots so she's like well screw it I'm just gonna throw a bomb in there and it's gonna do the same thing uh, that's dope I mean that just shows that there's no one way to tackle any situation in this game uh, and speaking of no one way to tackle any situation environmental hazards aren't guaranteed kills as you can see in this clip right here uh, she rolls a rock down at these enemies and it just misses them uh, and I think that's actually awesome. It would suck if everybody was just like placed just so that you all you had to do is push a rock down the hill and it's going to kill uh, the the enemies that are there every time. That that would suck, I think. Um, there's just different things that she could have done. She, what if she had used stasis on that rock and hit it like once? You know what I mean? Not enough to launch it super far, but just hit it once and maybe it would have just popped off that ledge and landed right on those book goblins. Uh, that would have been really sick. Uh, this next thing is really awesome. It's a really realistic touch that I'm super surprised that they added to the game. And that's just being able to loot arrows that enemies shoot at you. Like, what are the odds that this game would be that realistic? Um, this seems to, to me like maybe the best way to get arrows aside from just finding them in chests and stuff. Uh, I mean, it remains to be seen, you know, just how scarce arrows will be since we obviously haven't spent any real time with the game yet. But, uh, you know, this seems like a really good method for getting arrows for cheap. Especially, like, we don't know how much they're going to cost in shops. We don't know how rare the drops will be uh, as far as chests and things like that. So, you know, worst comes to worst, you find a couple, you know, enemy archers and let them shoot at you. And uh, just take their arrows. It seems like a really uh, realistic way to uh, solve the problem of, of not having enough arrows on you. And I'm super surprised that this game is actually that realistic because, like, I don't know <laughs> what kind of, you know, video game wizardry it takes to, to make it so when an enemy shoots a projectile, it actually stays uh, where it is in the world and is persistent. That's really impressive. Um, and this next thing is actually, it's kind of funny, but it's actually, like, kind of tight. Uh, you can use Magnesis and uh, hit enemies with weapons. Uh, while using magnesis, so I thought that was really cool as well. 
But that about does it, guys. I mean, there's still a lot more uh, things to be hyped about as far as the combat goes in this game. But let me know what you guys think. What are you hyped about? What about the combat in this game gets you excited? Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, why not subscribe and stay updated with all things Breath of the Wild. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and praise the games. Peace, guys.